I'm just going back to the robot. The yeah, ro the yeah, meet yeah, and robot. greet the meet and greet robot. We have spoken about it before. But the other thing it's got... Yes, it's and I'm sorry if John's language just offended anyone. I don't think oh. it... Well, yeah, but you've still got to apologise. Oh, I apologise. What the robot needs, the meet and greet robot, will do the prototype when it's got to know just about the NEC. That should be quite straightforward, because the gadget show will support that sort of robot. When it gets to London and is suitable for transport for London, it's got to have four handles so it can be helped across the gap. This mind the gap business is a very <laughs> serious issue because um, a wheelchair, for example, has got to make that leap across the gap. It's not like the London Dock Docklands Light Railway, which is very good. The, um, the classic tube system has not been designed for smooth access. No. So the robot's going to have the same trouble, I think. Do you know, dudes, the tube system is the old sewage pipe. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I found that out many years ago. So it wasn't really designed for purpose at all? No, it wasn't designed for people to go down there. No. Well, anyway, we did find the people of London help, helped us out. They lifted the wheelchair and moved it across the gap. Yeah. So that is very good. <laughs> so the robot, the meet and greet robot, when it gets to the gap in, uh, in the wonderful tube system, which we fully appreciate, it is a wonderful <laughs> system. Hang on, which tube station were you at? Because from memory, I don't remember... There being a huge gap at Tower Bridge. Uh, monument, monument. We got. We first of all got off at Monument because it was advertised as having disabled Real access, access. but that was the D Dotland Light Railway, and that was somewhere else. How you got there from the tube station was another mystery. But there's a definite gap as you get on and off there. Okay. But anyway, if the robot's got four handles, passers by will help the robot to get onto the tube. <laughs> yeah. But that's just design. I'm talking design now. Yeah, well, you're all. These people are l people from London. They're very nice, f helpful, friendly people. Yeah, they are, but. They're the. This. <laughs> See them really helping a robot? The robot will ask nicely and it'll be a very friendly looking robot. That's another important design consideration. We could test out how how friendly it needs to be and how long it needs to take to explain its requirement. But I'm sure there are four people. Well, maybe it would only take a couple of people to lift it across the gap. But anyway, if it can't get across the gap, there's no way a wheelchair's going to get across the gap. So... How the robot gets across the gap, is that's quite Hang important. Hang on, from memory, the gap was only about that big. In not, well, on not radio, all stations, no, it's not. No, in, t it's, it's in a some definite, stations, it's massive. It's a massive it, gap. It's, it's definitely an issue. In some stations. I not don't, in some stations. Yeah, it's definitely an issue for a wheelchair. OK. But, uh, but you would agree, John? In some stations, yeah. In some stations, so certainly the stations we pass through, and we have so trouble at the yeah, yeah. It, so the, it the yeah, so the robot so will know anyway. Obviously, the robot will if if the robot is programmed right right in such a state, it will know. It will know, and it will just put out a call for help, and helpful passers by will lift it across the gap. But this is also providing that it doesn't fail. So you mean the robot could fall in? <laughs> it won't actually fall into the gap, but I, I think its front wheels will, will, will drop away, it will tilt slightly, and it will cause a delay of about eight minutes. Now, I've got London Transport's attention at this point, I think. They don't like the idea of an eight-minute delay in one of their tube stations. No. So they're probably going to help us with this robot as well. And they will publicise the importance of, of Londoners 
lifting the robot across the gap. <laughs> so, and um, and that will help us as well. So this row, what's below the gap? Uh, electricity, um, <laughs> rat-infested <laughs> tramways and all kinds of rubbish lying so down below there. if the robot falls down the gap... Uh, no, the gap's not big enough for the robot to fall down, just to lose its balance and drop its front wheel and, and tilt over and become unstable. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, I was thinking there could be a great firework display. (laughs) Well, yeah, the electricity's not far away. The robot falls down the gap. (laughs) Then it explodes. (laughs) No, look, no, no, look. Obviously, the the robot's going to be very well designed, but... um, (laughs) Was, the importance was, of getting the robot across the gap, I think we've made that point. It would need to be with what you're, with what you're requesting for it to do. It would need to be it's very, very simple. Design. It's a very simple... I mean, it's just, a, it's, just, it's just able to move about, like these self-driving cars we hear so much about. So that can't be very complicated. It's got a good knowledge of London. It's got direct communication with whoever answers the phone at Transport for London, because they know what they're talking about. And you, you you talk to it. It's got you know. It's like a, like your Apple phones or yeah. something. You talk to it and you say, um, "We've arrived at Pans- Birmingham International. We want to know where the Weatherspoons is." Thank you so much. And it says, "I know London." <laughs> no, 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 Chris. There's two different. You're getting confused. There's two robots. There's the prototype robot that knows about the NEC, and is supported by the Gadget Show. Live, where, I'm sure they're going to help us with this. Where it and when we, when need we get, to get across gaps. No, no, there's no gaps. No, no, the gap is an advanced feature, but that's only just four handles, so people can help the robot. That would be the London one that Transport for London is going to help us with, but that comes later. We'll get the prototype to work at the NEC in time for the gadget show in March this year and then we'll get one that copes with um, how we get to Tar Gateway or wherever it is we're going to get to to get to Bet but we've got we've got almost a year for that yeah so I'm sure that'll be working the Docklands Light Railway is extremely accessible that is great once you've got on it it is you do have to get over a big step (laughs) well yeah it's not but I think we'll just, we'll say that if all we want to be able to do really is is find somewhere to stay that we can get onto the railway, the Dutton and, Light Railway. And may I and may I say the Dutton Light Railway is actually a robot. I find it very interesting how the driver is stood at, at is stood in the passenger way talking to all the dri- talking to all the customers and you've got this train on the tracks and it's driving itself all the way all the yeah. way to Custom House. Yeah, it is. It's a self driving train. <laughs> yes. Yes. And the 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 the, the, the actual dry, well the person we could talk to w- will never take over except in extreme circumstances. Yes, it's very intelligent. Yeah, but you no, know, there's there's a there's a satellite looking down on it all. Yes, reporting back. And if it crashes, well, oh, no, um, it'll, it's never going to happen. Never going to happen. But there are circumstances in which the 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 person in the inside the train could take over. You're right. But what they are, we don't know. Right. No, the robot's in control, right? Which is how it should be yes. if it all works. Yes. So I think the meet and greet robot is a very practical idea, and we hope one will be meeting us, Birmingham International, when we get off the train. Yes, okay. but it's very wishful thinking. No, it isn't. Uh, right. It's a very sensible <laughs> idea. Okay. Okay. Let's play some music now. Have you got any robotic music we can play? Uh, Something by Kraftwerk. Okay, uh, well, we'll find something by Kraftwerk after this. 